to you guys. Thanks, Corey. I am now joined by Christy Yoder, President, and Rachel Ferrier, Executive Director of the Amana Arts Guild. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks Thank for being you. here. So tell me, when was the Amana Arts Guild founded? Actually, almost 50 years ago. I started on the board as a student at Mount Mercy College, oh, wow. and so I worked my way through the ranks, I guess. Um, but we have been involved with keeping traditional Amana Arts alive, as like basket making, tinsmithing, and then also encouraging new arts and mm -hmm. having new activities and doing things for kids and raising them up so they understand that, yes, Amanda has a wonderful tradition of old crafts yes. and arts, but the most important part is that we all have the ability to create and, and make new things. Right. So that's kind of the, the mission of the Guild now is to preserve the old and encourage and foster the new. That's wonderful. I think that's the best of both worlds. <laughs> but we try. And you have so many things going on. Let's start with the summer programming. Yeah, so we have a lot of great summer programming. Um, we have classes all throughout the summer. Some are hosted through Grant Wood so they can be continuing education for teachers and also just for lay people to improve their skills. Mm -hmm. We also have Kirkwood classes. Those are just for lay people for enjoyment. And we have a blacksmithing class we just added at the end of June. What is that? How, <laughs> what would it go on in a blacksmithing class? Yeah, so in this particular one, our fantastic instructor, Corey Nevitt, is going to be teaching like candle holder making. So uh -huh. it's a little wall sconce candle holder oh, that's cool. that students will learn to make from start to finish. And you don't have to have any blacksmithing experience beforehand. And is there an age? limit or typically we only take 18 plus we'll sometimes make exceptions for like 16 though if they're accompanied by an adult I see and other classes though are for younger students mm -hmm. as well yep uh, it kind of just depends on the level of the class so for example we have Raku coming up that would be for older students since there is that firing involved we don't mm -hmm. want any younger people to get hurt but for something like our artist books or our printmaking that would be open to any age that's old enough so teenagers as well and can you sign up for those on your website yep amanaartsguild.com and all of those sign-ups, all the information is available right there on that site. And say if somebody's coming to the class, do they need to bring any materials with them? Yep, there's material lists on there, and then there's also materials fee because instructors provide some of the more specialized materials, mm -hmm. and then students bring some of the more common materials for themselves. That's very cool. There's lots of classes and programs. You'll have to go check out all of them, but let's talk about the gallery. So the gallery... Um, we are in our third year of having the gallery. It's on Main Street, right in Manor, kind of on what we call the golden spot, right next to the Oxyoke restaurant and across from the general store. So it's a beautiful spot. And we host over 30 different artists. And from, again, we have some very traditional, some very new modern pieces, jewelers, um, ceramicists. Uh, as you can see, we've got a broom maker, and we've got a basket, and we've got some beautiful turned wood. Um, Corey, our blacksmith created mm. some beautiful pieces out of copper Those are um, beautiful. and then we have paintings and, and uh, pastel work watercolors photography Deb Kennedy you I know spends time yes, with you. yes. we've had her several we have times some of her she's a favorite <laughs> we have some of her photography for sale at the gallery so there's a lot of things we're open uh, Wednesday, Thursday, not Wednesday, sorry, Thursday through Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, from 10 to 5. So you can shop, but it's also kind of a gallery, uh, an art exhibit as it well, is. of yes. local artists. Yep. Yep. Broom making is so interesting, and this is so beautiful. Yes, yes. It's art. <laughs> it is. <laughs> in a broom. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, it is, and it, it's utilitarian as well as just a great statement to hang on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Do you have fest a festival coming up? Yep, we do. Arts Fest is August 10th, so that is artists of all different media who can come and display and sell their art. We also have other fun things like food trucks and live music. So that is free to the public to get in on August 10th from 9 to 4. And then we do also still have artist spots available. Okay. So interested artists can apply on our website and people who just want to attend can find information on there as well. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. It's a great day. Look at that. Those, those are so cool. You said that you have an Etsy shop as well we were talking mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And this, these are one of your best sellers yes. here? Yes, they're ash ornaments made by Rachel Ehrman and uh, Rachel, Rachel Ehrman Kephart and uh, she does beautiful things. She also does quilting and she's a, she'll be doing them quilters at the Arts Festival. So she's doing hands-on work as, so that's part of the festival fun is that you have, they will, we will have the blacksmith will be doing his thing and she'll be quilting and we'll have apple fritters and all sorts of Amana foods and it's also for sale. So it's yeah. like a it's very a fulfilling, very educational but fun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you like the arts and you mm -hmm. want to learn something new, yeah. you guys are the place to go, it sounds yeah. like. And then things for kids to do as well. So mom and dad can shop and the kids will be entertained. So it's great. One more time, give me the website. 
website? AmanaArtsGuild.com. So okay. just our name.com. And you have a Facebook. I yep. guess we have the email there. And yeah, go sign up for some. Learn how to blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really cool. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, you should. What a hidden talent, huh? Yeah. You well, might thank be. you, you Rachel bet. and Christy, so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, stick around. We're gonna wrap up this Thursday's Everyday Iowa when we get back right here on KCRG TV Nine.